The nation of Mexico, in July of 2018, had the opportunity to elect a new president after a six-year term, with the incumbent president, Peña Nieto, leaving with a 20% approval rating. Clearly, there was a desire for change. What occurred was the election of Manuel Lopez Obrador, an avowed socialist and a radical candidate who was certainly a departure from the previous politicians known in Mexico. I went to Veracruz to interview a number of people involved in the movement and in the issues. First one I interviewed was Emir Ramos. Ramos grew up in a wealthy family and is nervous about the upcoming administration of the new president. He remarks that Mexico is a land based on industry and based on a global economy. He wonders if those opportunities will still be the same under a more socialist president. Enrique Diaz is a journalist for Televisia, which is the premier news station in the nation of Mexico. Diaz remarks that nothing much will actually change and that the figurehead, the president of Mexico, is largely symbolic is largely smoke and mirrors. He remarks that the most dominant mafia in the nation of Mexico is not the cartel, but it's actually the politician. Lastly, I interviewed Rodolfo Benzacar, who works for the Canadian Embassy and represents Mexico. He remarks that with a combative foreign policy approach, especially during renegotiations under NAFTA, that Mexicans may very well get a raw deal under the guise of nationalism. Finally, I went to Jesus Martinez Stadium, where they're holding a bunch of migrants over who had migrated from Central America to free violence. One gentleman remarked upon his time and said that he feared death. He was simply a barber, but he remarked that the gangs in his home nation of Honduras are so violent they kill people for fun. He feared if he didn't leave the day he left, he would have been killed the following day. Finally, I interviewed some kids who yearn for a successful life in the USA, and wanted to play soccer and pursue their passion. I'm Dodge Landisman. Thank you.